have a couple of guys here with me. I have left and right the lawn tools. I have Jimmy Lewis, and they are relatively new creators this year, 2019 to the lawn game. I think both of you did have a few videos last year, yes or no? Technically, yes. Okay. Very end. I think so. Yeah. yeah. They came in super strong right at the end, but everybody else was going out super strong. So they didn't have the technical build up like what you would think as a YouTube creator. So as a YouTube creator myself who came on last year, I didn't know, I didn't have anybody to look up to, I didn't have any role models. This isn't staged, this isn't like asked or anything, but I'm asking them for those of you who are looking to create a YouTube channel, who do you look up to when you are looking at how to build your channel? Honesty. Jimmy? I think a lot of my ideas and inspiration come um, as far as like certain shots that I get. I look at Ryan Knorr a lot. Okay. Um, I think he's really good at videography. Um, he's really good at getting really nice shots. And so I try to, to duplicate some of those. Nice. Um, Ben Sims, okay. I think is really good too. Um, yeah, those are the first two that come to mind as far as like getting inspiration for just the certain shots I want to get for my videos. Very nice. Very nice. All right, what about you, Right Tool? What do you think? So I would, I would definitely agree with Ben Sims. The the editing is unmatched. <laughs> it's awesome. So as far as editing goes, I'd say Ben Sims. As far as just the content and trying to kind of make it lighthearted and stay fun Connor on that one um, and then as far as so I've, I've got Bermuda grass on my lawn so John Ware from the lawnform.com hands down is is goals for Bermuda grass for sure so kind of trying to put all those things together and just and like I said keep it lighthearted and fun and for those of you who didn't know to the right there is a left the left tool I know you haven't really seen a lot of grass videos. You don't really watch them. You have a different watching genre and stuff. But who do you draw inspiration from to do this? It doesn't have to be grass related. Who do you emulate when you look at this kind of stuff and you're helping out the right tool? Uh, you know, most of the stuff I watch is just uh, really entertaining stuff. So yeah. I've, I've followed Dude Perfect since the beginning and they nice. started with just backyard, mm -hmm. just having fun and just being hilarious. Mm -hmm. And then they just grew it from there and you know now they're huge. And just, you know, stuff like that, people, you know, channels like that where, uh, you know, they started hardworking and just creating something really fun to watch. Um, that's what I try to do when I'm helping out uh, Righty over there. Nice. You know, just try to try to make something fun, you know, that, uh, that we like to do and then just put it out there and, uh, you know, just do kind of that way. Gotcha. Makes sense. I really, you know, there's a lot of inspiration to be had from a lot of different creators. And that's kind of the point is that there's no one right way. I actually drew a lot of inspiration originally from Alan because of the niche that we're in, the timing that I had came into it and everything. But then I watch other creators who are in totally different genres and I pay attention to what they're doing, how they're creating it. And I try to emulate some of the stuff that they do. I get some of the audio, some of the video, stuff like that. So. I get it. I understand there's a lot of things to draw from and that's that's good points on all sides. Jimmy, if you could actually create your channel how you wanted it to be created, what would be your niche inside the grass that we do? Like how would you have it? How would you have it laid out? What would be your thing that people would know you for? That's tough. I think I'm still looking for that, honestly. Okay. Um, like you said, I, I just started um, really like going for it um, as far as creating goes this year, this season, and and even looking back to my first few videos, I've come a long way, I think, and and it's kind of fun to see even just like editing skills and timing and things like that with with the shots. It's it's crazy how fast you can you can you can grow when you look back and see how far you've come in just a short amount of time. Um, but really the thing that I want to do on my channel is just show people that the average Joe can maintain a really nice top-notch professional grade lawn nice. and it doesn't take a lot to do it either you can do it from from products that you can find really easily and with equipment that doesn't cost a lot of money either correct and, and that's really what I'm trying to do nice. 
so we'll actually go to the left tool on this one. Um, same question, what is it that your guys' image is? I think that you guys have a more clear image of what you guys are trying to do because you guys are a fun, lighthearted thing. But maybe I don't see it the same way as what you guys are trying to envision. What is it that you guys are making and creating for your channel that makes you different in this niche? Uh, well, for me, like when I set out, it was basically to be the best looking lawn care YouTuber out I, there. I and I've already it. accomplished that. I can see it. So this is kind of an odd question because I, I feel like <laughs> most of my goals have already met. Oh, nice. But I do, I do like the music aspect of it. I think we have a lot of fun with uh, creating the music stuff. So getting, you know, where we can get a little bit more production, uh, you know, higher, like quality. Yeah, better, better quality. When we get a little bit more funds, when we get stuff figured out, get some better kind of music videos and uh, better recording, like that kind of stuff, and make the make the songs really, really pop. Nice. Uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. Nice. Um, how can you add to that? It's the same. Yeah, the music is so much fun. That's kind of been something that we've done for a long time is just liking to sing and, and write stuff like that. So I kind of envision my dream channel being like the Lonely Island. If you can just imagine that, the production quality is so amazing, but the song is about something so goofy that it shouldn't be that good. And then doing that in lawn care and on the yard, just making stuff like that, having a lot of fun with it. Nice. Yeah, I just went on a road trip with these guys for two and a half hours, and uh, we didn't have the radio on for one bit of it. Between the few bits of actual speaking, they were serenading me the whole time. It was great. <laughs> and it was about lawn songs <laughs> off of pop culture or any kind of song that they could think of. All of a sudden, it would just randomly come out. Some of them default to Elvis quite a bit, and the other one likes to hit the high notes. I don't know. I, I haven't figured it out yet. But there's a lot to be had with these guys. So as, as creators, you guys, is there anything that you could tell other creators as a middle of a startup that you wish you would have known two months ago, one month ago, right as you started? What is it that you guys would want to be able to say, hey guys, if you're looking to start a channel, this is what it would be. This is my number one tip that I would tell you to do, Jimmy. I think the most important thing is to figure out who your audience really is, yep. and then understand what your audience is looking for at the right time. Um, if, you, if, if you're making videos about snow cleanup at the beginning of spring, you're not going to get very many views. Nope. Maybe once winter rolls around, but but at that time you're not going to you're not going to gain any momentum. So it's all about timing, and it's all about um, really just making a video that's clearly demonstrating what it is that you're trying to convey to your audience. Exactly, and going from there. Okay. I like that. Timing is very key and crucial. Right now, I have a video that is actually performing in mine that's the bed that right over here. That up until a month and a half ago, it had 200 views. It now has over 3,000 views in a month and a half just because that bed is a hot topic because people are making flower beds right now. I did it at the end of the season um, of making flower beds, so nobody was looking for it anymore. Very valid. What about you? I, it kind of stinks that you have to play the game on YouTube and there's a keyword and search engine yeah. optimization element to it. You'd love to be able to just make videos and have fun doing it and for everybody to be able to see them. There's so much video being uploaded to YouTube every minute. It's I don't even know. It's something like, I don't even remember how many hours, a ridiculous number of hours of video is uploaded every minute. Um, so to be able to be discovered, you have to play the game and, and get the keywords in there. Google is listening to what you're saying, um, and so the actual words that you say in the video are something that go into the search engine, Something, everything you put in the title, in the description, you kind of have to repeat those things multiple times to be discoverable on a certain topic. So you can't just make a video about uh, you know, lawn care, but if you don't actually say that anywhere in it, no one's going to find it. And I, again, like that kind of stinks, but that's how it works. Um, and so you have to kind of learn about that a lot, which can kind of be interesting. I've had fun learning about that. Like search engine optimization is, is becoming more interesting to me. Um, seems really weird, but I, I'm actually having kind of fun learning about that. So it's it's 
it goes both ways, I suppose. It really does. Um, and it, it's probably harder for you guys that you're doing the fun aspect of it to be able to get a keyword that people are going to look for. So you guys have to do a lot more digging and searching. Mm -hmm. So knowing your niche and understanding how to dig into it, that goes a long way. Um, especially if you're going to do something outside the bubble and you aren't just doing what everybody else is doing. If you're saying an easy keyword like prodiamine, you show prodiamine, you tag prodiamine, you're probably going to have some kind of rankings for prodiamine. But if you're saying, hey, I'm going to sing about prodiamine, I'm going to do it in a fun way, it's going to be fun and goofy, yeah, it could be a little bit difficult to do that and you really have to key in on those. That's, that's pretty intense, that's nice. I like that. That's was one of the things that I did focus on when I did it. You have to. Um, and all these are extremely great. you have anything to put in on that? What you would um, add in and tell people is a great first starting tool that you wish you knew? I think starting out, and this can be with anything, is just don't get yourself overwhelmed and just just start. Like, just, just hit record and mm -hmm. do what you like doing. Have fun with it. And if you're having fun and you're doing what you love, just if you like it and throw it up there and other people are going to like it too and yes. just I think at the at the beginning it's tough people start making a plan for what they want to do and they get overwhelmed with how much editing they're going to have to do or how much filming they're going to have to do how much time it's going to take but you know just don't worry about it just start and just let it go let it just have fun with it that's true I've heard somebody say that your first video is going to be garbage so get it out of the way. <laughs> do it and make that first video and put it up there because it's not going to be perfect. So just yeah. do it. It's go gonna on, it's gonna suck. On. It's gonna suck for a while, and you may not be super proud of what you did. But as you go, you're gonna get better, sure. and you'll get better, and you'll get better, and and uh, but yeah, just just have fun because it's fun. Like what yeah. we do is fun. Mm -hmm. It yeah. definitely is. Another thing too is to learn to enjoy editing yeah. because yeah. you're gonna be you're spending gonna a, lot a lot of time lot of doing time. it, and so if you can learn to enjoy it and and learn new. Tr uh, tricks and things along the way, things you can add and incorporate into your into your style. It, it just makes it more fun, and it's not so much a chore. Correct. Yeah, yeah on my first video, the way that I actually came to YouTube, because I didn't do it like these guys. These guys actually had a plan to become YouTubers. I did not. I re walked around my lawn recording it, saying problems, saying issues that I was seeing in my lawn, and I did it to want to fix it. I didn't care whether anybody watched me. I didn't have a goal to do it or anything, but I started getting questions. And so then it actually sparked my interest. And it just made sense for me to help people because that's what I like to do. I love to help people. And so it fell into my wheelhouse. And that's how I actually got started was because I made the first video. I put it up on the internet. I did no editing at all in it. I just straight up walked around my yard for 20 minutes and that's what I did is I made that video. It, it's, you know, you can do it all different types of ways. It doesn't have to be you seeking to become a YouTube creator. You just might fall into it because you start enjoying it. That's what I did. Well, that was a blast. You guys are great. I really enjoyed having the lawn tools come out from their home state and bringing Jimmy up from lower down in our state. It was a great time, got some great insight from them and very appreciative for all the knowledge that they shared with you guys. So if you get a chance, go subscribe to them. Their links are gonna be down below. I wanna thank all the creators that got a shout out in this also. Alan Hain, Connor Ward, Lawn Tips, Ben Sims, Ryan Knorr. There are several other people out there in the grass community that I really look up to. I look up to Matt Martin. When it comes to product knowledge, off the chart. Throwing in with the product knowledge there, John Perry, how could you go wrong? When it comes down to just a DIY type of a homeowner, the grass daddy. How could you go wrong with Pete from GCI Turf or Jake the Long Kid? You guys cannot go wrong. So many people so many different ways of doing it. All these guys, they're really good at giving new creators some insight on the look, the feel, the way that video should actually be for our lawn niche. And it really makes a lot of sense. So when it comes down to making a YouTube channel and to set up a new YouTube channel in the grass niche, 
there's a lot of people that you can follow. Come with your own flair. Be your own person. Learn from the tips that are given and enjoy what you're about to put out because other people are going to enjoy what you enjoy. So make it you. You don't have to be me. You don't have to be Connor. You don't have to be Alan. You don't have to be Ben from Lawn Tips. You don't have to be Ryan Nord. You don't have to be anybody but you. You make you. You make it unique to your content and you enjoy what you're going to do. It's a blast. If you want to create it, create it. Make it, share it for the world to see, and have fun with it. I'm Jeremy of The Greener Lawn, Maker Green. Next level.